my soul. Yo, people, this is Influence, and I'm back with another Transformers review. This time I have Fans Toys Jabber. It's FT39 in their series, uh, which is Blur, of course. I will never refer to him as Jabber in my life again. So, uh, comes with a few accessories. This is him in vehicle mode. I will show it off better a little in a little bit. I like to go from, I'm cutting this in just to let you know I, I did the whole review or the whole transformation. And now I'm going to cut this in first. Cause I don't know a lot of people, they only care about the bot mode. Uh, so I'm going to not have y'all sit through the whole transformation. Cause I, you know, I transform it from how it doesn't come. There's so many reviewers that transform it from the box, like from robot to, to alt mode most of the time. So I like to transform from alt mode to robot, but a lot of people don't care and they just want to see the robot and how it stacks up. So I'm going to cut this in first shout out to, uh, DS icons, um, to Sean, he, he's in a lot of the groups. Um, he runs some groups, great sell. I'm going to have a link in the description. Uh, I bought this from him and shipping is very fast. So if you need something, hit him up. I don't know if he has any more of these. I know he was pre-ordering, but you know he's he's a, a a smaller seller, so I try to try to support. Um, and I don't get my stuff from the big mom and pops. You know, Agabus. I get it from I get East Coast Toys, like those those guys. And Deshaun uh, is a stand-up dude uh, as far as selling and, and being in the groups and participating and doing everything. So shout out to him. So got some comparisons here. Two fan toys, which is Cup RC. And that's how they look together. I think I know people don't like RC, but as a bot, it is it's a great figure. It's probably one of the best. Uh, representations I don't care about the transformation even though I do transform it and I like it cup I love his transformation people hate it but it's the best representation of cup we have and probably going to have so I'll probably never replace him or her um hot rod however this is the cars this isn't fan stories I wish I had fan stories I think fan stories hot rod looks much better with these guys but um, as you can see, the size. Also, let me bring in Optimus, which is Magic Square Optimus, not the official Optimus. So you can see there how he scales with Optimus, which I think that's that's pretty good. Yeah, there's Magic Square, not uh, Takara's Optimus. Of course, you could tell, but. Um, by the finish. But yeah, I actually think they go together because they have like kind of the same finishes. He doesn't have the finish that's been coming with, but he has the same finish as the other, I believe, movie bots. So I think maybe that's why they did that. Um, cause their earlier, some of their earlier releases, they didn't do that like clear coat. It's almost like clear coat. Um, it's shiny, shiny paint. So. I know people complaining about Blur, but I think it looks good. I'm going to do his articulation and then I'll just cut to the transformation. Um, so his arms is double jointed so you can get a good range out of that. Go all the way around. There are friction, which is something that I don't like. I wish they would have put ratchets in there. I don't know what the choices why these companies choose some of the stuff they do. You can get his arm up to there. Um, his hand is all one. His hands, hands are mediocre. I'm not sure why they, well, I guess all the smaller bots have one one hand. So this is par for the course. Um, but it's all, all pinned, all four fingers, and then there's no articulation. It's just holding. Uh, his wrists, he does have a swivel. He has a bicep swivel, 
which on mine it wasn't bad i don't know if people were scared to do it because they thought it was going to be they was going to break it but um it's not bad on mine he has a waist which is all the way around no no ab crunch the hip skirt that is uh controversial because it's on one piece but i actually like the way it moves because it it kind of it kind of gets out his way so you'll see you know you can kind of like get it like this even if you had the feet all the way up so it's not like all the way out looking insane um but to go there you can get his legs all the way out and you can do the butt flap you can bend that get them all the way get all the splits like I said, these articulate this butt flap. You can push up if you don't like it. Um, it is accurate to the cartoon. So I'm sure that's why they put it there. Thigh swivel, I don't really like. This is kind of weird to me. Um, but it could be accurate. I don't know. He has double jointed legs. So gets all the range. Uh, and his toe tilt is a little limited. I mean, his his rocker, it's a little limited, but he has heel, heel spur. I think it can get where it needs to be. And his head, of course his head, let me show his face sculpt. I think that's perfect. His face sculpt is really nice. His head is really on point, I believe. You can get it all the way around. It's pretty tight, but it's on a ball joint, so you can get pretty expressive, like, hey. Down like that, up like that. And he holds his guns. And he holds them secure, but they're not. They're loose. Um, and this is something that I think a lot of figures go through. It, it's, it just like kind of slots in there. It doesn't even do anything. But once his hands close, it's not going nowhere because of the, the peg. So it's, it's no problem at all. It's just loose. It's just a loose peg and a lot of times you either get loose peg or too tight like too much paint so maybe they accounted for that but holds his gun well his arms are are kind of loose the elbow isn't ratcheted and the arm isn't ratcheted so but he, like i said he does have the swivel so he can get the he can hold his rifle like uh, like this if he wants kind of um, you see that <laughs> and I just got it on this stand it's supposed to work with fans toy stand I have one but I have the piece on to put jet fire on so I had jet fire on that stand and this is just a random stand that I had is it's really not even plugged in nowhere. It's just resting um, on it. So, I mean, but it but it works. It's it's pretty secure to tell you the truth. I think it was uh, Mick Fans Toys Swoop, their oversized swoop uh, stand. So, so it has a little like resting joint. Some accessories comes with his Target Master. Which I think is great. Uh, I'm glad they included that. I, for one, like Target Masters. I just like those in general. Like Headmasters and Target Masters. I think when I was young, I didn't have a lot of these. Like, I said in the past, uh, I've, I've had... I've had more than my share, but I didn't, I didn't get all the ones that I always wanted. So I always geared towards like Target Masters and Headmasters because I felt like I was getting two. <laughs> Even though they weren't as great as this, not that this is great, but it, for a target master, what, what do you expect? Like it's like an extra little robot, and I like it. Um, also, transform him differently than what it tells you, just because I like the way it looks better. But I'll show you both ways. Uh, so he comes with one gun. This, I mean, he comes with actually two guns and target master that turns into a gun. But this is the one that he has. It's cool. Paint it looks like. Uh, got a little black there to break it up. 
it's the bigger rifle. You have this because it can plug in under here as well. Your instruction manual, which is crap. I don't, I don't know. I guess it's all right, but of course you got the box. Let me put him down here. Take this stand away. Get the card. Tech specs. As you can see, sometimes I just think they're making numbers up. Everybody like eight, nine. Everybody can be eight, nine. Uh, you got some artwork on the back, which is pretty cool. And that's it for the box. This, this guy. I like this guy. This is nothing. This is just my tool because you're going to need a tool to get him situated. And I'm starting from vehicle mode, which is his little like hovercraft or whatever. So I kind of like the way they, they did this. It kind of looks like it's hovering because it's the legs. But I don't know if that was on purpose. I would like to think it is on purpose. Um, let me show you a little up close. So I got thrusters, these pieces. And let me tell you, this transformation is on par with Fan Stories transformations. It is, I like complex transformations personally. And the only part that I feel is kind of difficult. I mean, there's some difficult pieces, don't get me wrong. But the only part I feel is difficult are these sides right here. These are kind of difficult to maneuver and get in correctly. You can also, right here, it doesn't go in all the way. This side does, and I don't know if it's this, it's a little like peg, not peg, but it's a a plug. Uh, there's a hole and there's like something sticking out on the side. Um, a tab, I guess, but it's a bigger tab. It's like, but it goes into this arm on the side. Here you can see it's not all the way in, so I don't know if that's the case. Like maybe I have to push it all the way in, but I've I've squeezed it and I it doesn't like this one goes in and you can feel it like and click. So I don't know if that that's loose or maybe there's flash on it or what. I'm not sure. But articulation for the vehicle mode isn't much. This thing goes up and down, um, so you can have it however you want. You can see inside has a little like computer uh, molding, no steering wheel. This seat, of course, you saw before I took him off, like he doesn't, he definitely doesn't fit in the seat, but neither does any of the humans. And I don't know where my humans are, so I'm not going to fool with them. Uh, get this gun also. Let me get this out of here. It's out my shot. Get all this stuff out. But yeah, so you get this gun also, which is a little rifle like with a little clip magazine going on. Look like four bullets. <laughs> like you could fit two rifle shells, but it's probably electronic, so uh just transform what you're gonna do. Let me put it down a little bit. Like I was saying, as you can see from the front. Oh, and let me show you. This this gun has two pegs because this is for the hand. And I'll show that off later how that works. And this is to peg in. You have these right here. Peg that in like this. It's always weird trying to get it behind the camera. Let me just look at it. Then you peg it in. So this gun actually makes it sit up. This one does not. When you peg it in right here, it does not make this sit up. Um, so the target master, and before I transform him, I'll go over his articulation. He goes all the way around. He has double jointed elbows for, if I can get them, double jointed. Um, it's tight, but as you see, he has double jointed elbows. His arms go way up. Mainly for transformation. A good articulation. This is in the way. So if you want him to do the hurdles, he has a little uh, protrusion. It looks kind of funny and odd. Uh, he can't really go out. Oh, wait. Yeah, he can. He can get the splits. But again, he has the uh, protrusion. That is his barrel. I, I know you can't expect too much from these, but I, I kind of wish they had like folding gun barrels. So it just was compact more, but it does help him stand. 
Like you can get him. Okay. Uh, maybe not. You can get him in a variety of poses. He has knee. Like he has uh, ankle tilt, ankle rocker. Everything you would need from this guy. His head spins around. What can you expect? You can't expect more. I think it's a pretty good uh, target master. I almost said headmaster. So now how to transform him? Yeah, he will pop off the ball joints. So you know how ball joints work. You stress them too much, they pop off. So I guess it's better than breaking. Transform him. You put the arms back. Now I know this guy has pegs, which is comes into play. There's a peg there and a hole on this side. They don't really come into play the way they want you to transform this, but it does come into play when I do it the way I want to do it. And I think that's because it's basically the same mold as the other. Uh, it's just a remold, I should say, of the other Target Masters. Um, put these legs together. You spin, you spin them around, put these legs together. Let's see, there we go. Um, you get the arms like this. And you pull the barrel. Well, you're supposed to pull them up that, like that, and then you pull the barrel all the way up, which is what it is. So, so then you double, you double joint these. Um, you gotta have it like straight, but bent at, at the pin here. But you get the point. Then you pull this, get this down, and. That's basically the target master. So, all right. Also, I forgot. You get the clear shield for that. And you get another face. Which I haven't taken out because I don't like it. It's just the typical yelling face. Or like, oh, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> that's the typical stuff you get with all the releases. Issues. People had issues with the color, and I don't have issues with the color. It's pretty. It's it's showing kind of well on camera right now. It's like a purplish blue, and then the teal, of course. It doesn't have like the paint. It's kind of dull, but I think that's on purpose. I don't know. I don't know how he would be shiny. I think he he should be a little dull, but thrusters and all. See his feet. First thing I try to do, get these out of here because they're a nightmare and I don't want to break them. Um, I've seen a couple of people break them, so be very careful because the hinge in there, and I will show you, you can get this out like a little bit, but try to see how this is already out. So I'm just trying to get it out a little bit to get some tension off of this peg. There's a peg in there. So. Also, I try to pull these feet back kind of tight. So you gotta make sure the sides, you don't hit the sides. So I just don't want no problems. So I like to do that first, or these up here, just to start loosening up some of the area. And I use a tool because I don't want to scratch anything. So then you can get this side kind of You just want to get that peg from around, from in there. Then you can work. There's another, it's, it's this, but it's kind of like in, in there, in there. I really do not want to break this, um, this part right here. So there's a hinge on this that's weird. It's a weird hinge. So that's the reason for the breakage. Because the hinge is like under it, it, it wraps around and goes like underneath the metal part of the arm, and it's weird. So I guess I can get that out a little bit more, and then you can kind of uh, pull this. Now I'm not going to fast forward because I want you to see how kind of difficult it is, and if you're putting too much pressure on it, and then it comes out you can just rip it off so just take your time with this this part is the only part to me that is a pain getting going and and coming 
just a pen. But it can be done. Just got to take your time. Like I said, I like complex transformations. So, I mean, so then once you get that out a little bit, let me go up a little just so I'm not kind of off camera. So now it's out. Like it's out, but the hinge is still under this metal piece. You see that metal piece? That's part of the arm. Um, the hinge on here is like wedged underneath. And that's why it's so difficult. If you can see, I don't know if you can see in there. No, you can't really. It's a metal piece under there that is the hinge. But you can't really tell until. <laughs> Just take your time. Try to take your time. There you go. See that hinge, that that in there hooked onto this is like a double hinge type thing. And it's like square. So once you do that, then you can get these arms out the way. And now you can see it good. See how it hinges and it moves like this. Just let that dangle for now. What I've been seeing breakage is right here because as you can tell, you can see it's a pin and small piece of plastic. So let's do that again over here and see if I can get it a little more. Um, and this arm is actually pegged in well, so it's a little harder. Maybe it's best that it's not pegged in this hard because this is hard. Uh, also, I should I should note before you get these arms out, this flap, these two, there's a peg there and there's a peg on the other arm. Until you you lift this this flap up, these arms won't pop out. It won't come out. But even with that peg and it's tight, it's still not holding the arm into here. It's the tab that I was talking about. It goes up in here. And maybe I just didn't have it right. That's definitely a possibility. You just try to get this off a little bit first. I'm sorry. There we go. Stretch that a little bit, then got that tab out. You get a tab out, then it's a little easier to fool with this thing over here. But you still need to get these. Yeah, I don't know why this is so tight. Let's see. Finally. That plugs into there. So maybe that's the issue. Um, I don't know. But definitely difficult. tab that tab is hard that tab is tight too i didn't realize but once you get that out then you can try to maneuver this It might be better. I mean, even though it doesn't feel good to just try to flex this around this because on this metal is on this metal hinge. And unfortunately, the whole, they probably should have made this piece metal too. I don't know. I don't know if they could have, but um, yeah, it's not, it's not, doesn't feel good. You can try to unpeg them. They actually are on a like a sliding peg. So when you're going the other way, you gotta slide it, but once you do that, they're they're on a slider too. Like the feet go, this becomes feet goes out, or the back of the legs. I mean, but then you can start to get all this stuff out. Um, pull this down like this. 
try to uh, just get it out the way for now. And take this out. This, it's a peg that goes in there that flips, flips up and goes in there. That's pretty hard to get, but it's easy to take out this right here. Flip that down. Um, you go down, keep it. Might as well, you can flip that down as well. Keep it like this, because then you want to uh, separate. Once you separate these, then you can start to work. Move the legs at the waist. There's a waist joint, then there's another joint that can move. So you want to add the ratchet. Feel the ratchet. I just saw some uh some paint, I think. Unfortunately. But that's what happens. So then you can move this this way. Not on the ratchet, just the top part. And then bend it up. So you're starting to starting to see a little bit. So then it, it just gets elongated. Uh but you can start to work on these legs. All this stuff would be just there, <laughs> just all over. So you want to kind of, kind of combine awards these down. You can you can split them if you want. Um, kind of kind of combine awards. I guess that's what it's doing. I'll put them out. Make sure they're they're out uh, right there. So these in there like that. Push the feet down while you're doing it. Get these out though. You gotta get these out the way. Um, it's a bunch of stuff that you need to count for. So I think I think I'm doing this right. Yeah. This is like kind of a back leg filler piece, so you just want it up, not flat, just up like this. See, they're on that little sliding pin, and they're over like this when you have it in vehicle mode. So the alt mode, um, it's the back of the alt mode. So you just gotta make sure the pin is over, and now it's not sliding. It's kind of tight to slide, but then once you do that, then you can get it to fit up under there. Um, then you can get this together. Um, It's weird because you gotta get it in the right position. And this flat right here bends up to have it over and put it in there like that. And then this peg fits in the back of there. Um, so, Basically, you just got to try to maneuver this. This matters, I believe, wherever it is uh, to get it. Like, you just got to maneuver and snap it. So, pull the ankle tilt out. So, one, one leg done. I mean, the ankle tilt. Pull the heel spur. Heel thingy. Um. That's why this matters where this is, because the heel goes under there, but at the same time, there we go. Uh, one leg done. <laughs> oh, you also, don't forget this right here. These go in vehicle mode. You got to push them out so it makes the thigh one piece. Do it over here, too, just so I don't forget and another side. If I wasn't behind the camera, I like this transformation, but uh, it's a pain, especially behind the camera. So pull these feet out so you get a little, little more clearance. Get this down like that.
Yeah. Rookie move. And all these joints are tight, so it makes all this swivel and hinging and stuff just a pain. But uh, that's par for the course. I'd rather tight than loose, so hey. Some of these hinges. What you gonna do? If they were loose, they wouldn't be it wouldn't work. So Get this this monster hinge. This <laughs> this hinge is just a monster. So just try to maneuver it the best you can. There you go. Did I push this in over here? No, I did not. A little tab, a little extra tab. Once you get it together, it holds together. It holds together. Holds. <laughs> it holds together right. I'm tired. I can't talk. Let me get this together first. And basically maneuver. That went a whole lot smoother <laughs> than and tab this together. There you go. Legs finished. Now for the upper body. Oh, this piece right here, you can just get it in, um, just put it in like that, because then this piece is going to pop out and it's going to secure the upper body for you. You have two filler pieces that need to be up in alt mode, but you push them down, because as you can see, they fill out the body on the side. So now he looks like a uh, alien. Um. Get the camera up. So So with these arms, as you can see, they bend they bend like that. What you wanna do, get this out, pull this flap out, hinge this in like that. Put this down. There's two pegs that go into here. Snap in. Easy peasy. Then you just bend this up. It's kind of, the arms, to tell you the truth, are a little uh, intuitive to me. Snap that out. They were intuitive when I did it um, in accordion. Bend this piece over here like this. Fill in this little arm. And there you go. Okay. You got that. Yeah. One arm done. So the arms are really, they're not that difficult. And they're pretty intuitive, like I said. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Snap them in. Get the accordion on, bend them up, then bend them back together. Then this goes, uh, oh, yeah, you need to do that before. That's that's another mistake. Before you, you lock it, you gotta wrap this around because if you lock it, then it's like creates a right angle and it doesn't fit right. And another arm, done. So now you have it like this and you gotta get his head together. Now his head is stuck in this thing. Like I said, the antenna on his head. So I just try to push that out a little bit because I don't want to scratch it. I scratched it already from getting it in. I will show you the scratch. It's on the side because it was too close to the side. It fits right in the middle without touching if you can do it. So 
um, you want to click the little control panel. Try to get that up. It's easy to click from the bottom just to give you room and clearance. Um, like the, it, It's a hinge and the, you get this out the way too. Just pull that down. But the head is on a, a little weird hinge. And if I bring it up like this, then just rotate it. Bring it back a little. That's what needs to be done. You got to bring this back a little bit. Um, and then it clears it. You bring it back a little bit and you, you see how it is. And see that still touches a little. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best way, but it's the easiest way that I found. Yeah, so you got holes right there, holes right there. You want to try to maneuver this. These are accordion again. Um, put this down and then, well, not all the way. You put it all the way down, it won't go where it needs to go. So just have it like this and then you can get those pegs in those holes. And that'll help with getting everything together. Then you can push this in. Now you wanna pull this down here. You want to make sure you have the arms up like that and they stay up like that. Uh, get the head situated as well. Um, this thing should be poking up like that. And push that down. Now you can get this. It's kind of like a blind peg, but it it does do its job. For some reason, it's not pegging in on the wire, but let me see. Just make sure this is pegged in first. It it was, but I don't know what happened. Um, so now this, then it gets the clearance that you can, so you can get it close. believe it's tabbed in like it should be pull the butt flap down which is uh now this you just like kind of push it in the first time it's hard but as you see it, it went in very easy um i know people i, I think it will vary because some people say it doesn't go in for them. Some people say it's it's all right. So and there you have Blur. Um all his glory. And there's if you can see, <laughs> unfortunately. On my review table, there's paint chips all over. Now, I don't see any. Maybe maybe it's inside. Maybe it's outside somewhere that I can't see. But there are chips. Now, I'll show you where I scratched it. And I know I scratched it because I can see that little on the head. So, be careful putting, putting the head into the thing. I know a lot of people won't transform this guy. Um, or we'll do it once and that's it. So it's another fans toys release and that'll happen as well at the end of the review. Um, 
But yeah, that that happened at well as well. And there's a this square goes in here, which is how it holds that on. Um, but you can get some you can get some poses out of him. I think I think it's a good bot. I like it. Um, I would recommend it. It's not super expensive, especially for fans toys. Like it's not expensive at all, um, which is refreshing <laughs> because I know their last couple of releases haven't been super expensive. Um, but it's all up to you. I think it's a great representation, especially if you like the bots. If you just keep your stuff in bot mode and you don't transform it. Um, like I said, I like tra transformations that are complicated, but there's just some parts to him that are super, super annoying. Um, but I thank you for coming to watch this if you made it to this part. Uh, and I get up with you. Please leave me a like, subscribe, anything else, uh, comment, and I'll get back to you. Hip hop, I feel I gotta say who am I? You might say influence, and I spit better than most in this game. Provoking thought with.